We have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. Migrant crime. This is what the debate's going to be like. Trump's mass deportation promise just got more unhinged. Hooray. Donald Trump warned 20 million people who needed to be removed in a rambling speech. So 20 million people. This number goes up every every time. It'll be 22 uh, next week, and it'll be 30 million by the time we get to the actual election. Uh, Donald Trump pledged over the weekend to Deport begin the... Deport the Dems. Yeah. <laughs> Deport the Dems. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll say, oh, boss, I ain't even kidding. I got a tweet about that. Wait for it. It'll be up right after this. Hello, human. It is me, Knooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Donald Trump pledged over the weekend to begin the largest deportation operation in history. If elected president before flying off the rails into one of his most berserk speaking engagements to date, full of promises that range from ridiculous to terrifying and lame complaints about the media coverage. Uh, I think we'll just listen to him say it because he's a lunatic. And here he goes. And our civilization for four more years in the White House, we're going to straighten it out. We're going to straighten it out fast. It's going to go fast. Uh, the hardest thing to do is we have probably close to 20 million people that came in from all parts of the world, and uh, they're going to have to be uh, gone. They came in illegally. Many, many people coming in from prisons. and They're going to have to be gone. Millions must leave. Uh, this is impossible. He's selling you a plan that he cannot carry out, cannot be carried out by anybody, and will never be done. Am I upset that his plan won't ever happen? No. Uh, this is a dumb plan. It can't happen. But he's selling it to stupids. You see, I don't like snake oil salesmen. And that's what he is. He is a con man, a confident man. So he is giving his fans, those people listening to him, confidence. And when he gets in charge, he won't do this thing. It will never happen. It can never happen. It would be impossible. Even if they tried, it would fail quite badly. But in the meantime, what is he going to do if he does get elected? Well, he's going to make all the charges against him drop and disappear. And then he's going to put a bunch of right-wing jackasses in charge of the entire government. And we're going to collapse. It is going to be bad. Mental institutions, they came in, I mean, from, you know, I say prisons and jails because there is a slight difference. I say mental institutions and insane asylums uh, because actually there there's <laughs> more than a slight difference, right? Whenever I say silence of the lamb, the fake news back there, they say, oh, he's talking about, he's talking about silence of the lamb. And I say the late, great Hannibal Lecter. Oh, he likes Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter is a fictional character. No, they're crazy. When I imitate Joe Those Biden, can't get off the stage. Those stupids heard him say they need to be gone. The stupids will help gone them. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, a gold sale. See, uh, the Birch Gold Group right here. Free advertising during his speeches so that you can buy gold. And then he does some clown work, some, some space work up on stage. He tells some jokes. That's perfect. Sometimes they don't have a wall. You're freestanding. It doesn't. But I imitate him and I... I you know, walk into a wall, and the next day they write, Donald Trump could not find his way off the stage. No, no. So I don't even do it anymore. It's a, these are crooked people. He imitates Joe Biden and tells jokes. He's a clown, literally a clown. He's up on stage telling jokes, going through his material. He's a performer. He's a TV guy. He's a clown. We had our clown president. We had our Joker moment. Donald J. Trump. You know what the J stands for? I'm the Joker. Uh, <laughs> Donald, I'm the Joker Trump. That's what the J stands for. This one was from April, but I thought I should bring it up again because here we go. 22-year-old nursing student in Georgia who was barbarically murdered by an illegal alien animal. Uh, the Democrats say, please don't call them animals. They're humans. I said, no, they're not humans. They're not humans. They're, they're not humans. They're, they're, no, they're not. They're not humans. Animals. Nancy Pelosi told me that. She said, please don't use the word animal, sir, when you're talking about these people. I said, I'll use the word animal, because that's what they are. Ours is only going in one direction, and it's going to be very bad now because we have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. Migrant crime. This is what the debate's going to be like. This is what it is. I've, this is, this is it. He's going to be hammering home this migrant crime. Migrant crime. It doesn't matter. That the fact is that the the people who are undocumented commit crimes at a lower rate. That's a fact. Doesn't matter. Not important for him and his narrative. If anyone who is undocumented or illegal comes here and commits any crime, that is just pow, 
super dangerous and so much worse. Uh, it doesn't matter that it happens less often than with native born people. That's not important. Fact, that's nerd shit. That's data, that's facts, that's numbers, that's percentages. Uh, gay nerds, get out of here. The accusation's all that matters. This guy committed this crime, he was illegal. If he wasn't here, this wouldn't have happened. And that is some small brain shit right there. It really is. Yes, technically, if that man weren't here, he wouldn't have done the thing to that person. But that doesn't, that's anecdotal. That's not how crime statistics work, you see. Uh, but the statistics, again, are uh, stupid, big brain nerd shit. They don't care. So um, be prepared to hear a lot of it on Thursday night. So I'll have a beer with me and we'll watch him talk about how these large group of people aren't people and they need to be gone because he is a fascist, you see. That is how they talk. That is how it operates is dehumanize the others, get rid of them, create a state that is without any undesirables. And then when you, if, for some way, if somehow he actually succeeded, he would find new undesirables, which is, uh, you mentioned it uh, a moment ago, KBP, but here we go with the next group of undesirables. Deporting 20 million people is absolutely ethnic cleansing. That's literally the population of New York uh, State or half of the Midwest. It's 6% of the whole population. Someone from every classroom, workplace, or street will be gone. Then Chip Roy, a Republican, says, tell you what, I do want ethnic cleanse by deporting white progressive Democrats with a special bonus for rich ones with an Ivy League degree. I really do not like those people, says Chip Roy, House representative from Texas. This guy, that's Chip Roy. He gets paid by your tax dollars for the rest of his life. He does. He's a uh, elected member of the House. He gets paid with tax dollars for the rest of his life. And here he is pushing for the ethnic cleansing of people with different ideas than him. He doesn't care that those people have the First Amendment right to think differently. He doesn't care. They think differently. Hence, they need to be removed from his country. This is the kind of shit that will start a civil war. This is why the right wing, uh, a lot of the grifters, talk about civil war all the time. Because they can't come to an agreement with anybody else. They can't. That man, Chip Roy, and lots of right-wing grifters on YouTube and on uh, social media cannot meet you in the middle because they, have, they refuse to meet you in the middle. They refuse to recognize, comprehend, or understand that there is going to be different people in the country that the people in the country might be have different ideas than them. They cannot reconcile this because that means that there's a chance that they are wrong. They can't accept that. That's awful. That is a nightmare scenario for them. They don't think that they can be wrong. Chip Roy does not think that he can be wrong. He used his brain to get to all his conclusions and those conclusions cannot be wrong ever. And if you have evidence to suggest that they're wrong you're harming his beliefs you're harming his identity but he will deport you <laughs> he does not want you here he does not want people who are different than him he wants order and he wants stability at the cost of freedom that is what he wants he wants order he wants stability he wants conformity at the cost of freedom and because Chip Roy he is American he was born here and he's a uh, member of the House of Representatives but he doesn't know what America is or what it's for or what the word freedom means. He has no idea. He is order-brained. He is authoritarian-brained and cannot comprehend human freedom or what, why anyone would want, would want to be different than him. He thinks that anybody who isn't exactly like him has made a mistake. This is, this is just, they, they've just clearly just done a bad job of being a human if they didn't end up exactly like Chip Roy. Ugh. I am the algorithm click on this video to make me happy you wouldn't like me when I am angry.